What's up, YouTubers? Betty's here is buying a used service van. It's got a messed up transmission in it. Yep. So uh, I'm using Forescan here. I hope you can hear all the squeaking rattling going back there. Got Forescan hooked up with a bunch of perimeters for the transmission. I cleared the DTCs, and so it took it out of limp mode. It used to only have second gear. <laughs> but uh, it looks like overdrive is shot. So we push the button to prevent overdrive, which makes it be gear max three instead of four. Now it doesn't hit that point. The transmission still makes some goofy sounds and it doesn't seem to like give it much engine braking when it lets off the throttle. So this first gear. Whoop, oh, need downshifted. First gear, second gear. We're now in a spot where it can accelerate. You hear that funky noises? Third gear. Now put it in overdrive once, so you can see what happens. Now I'll try to go. It just free wheels when you're in fourth, so you just put, hold it back out of overdrive. So, yeah. Yeah, with, this has a low gears. It's almost like this has four tens. Yeah, see, that's weird right there to me. When he lets off the throttle, he has no engine braking. We're in third gear. He lets off the, and it goes down to idle. Goes down to idle RPMs. Pretty strange. But that's he bought it knowing that the transmission was bad. And who knows, it might need a pump or a, a sprag or clutch pack or who knows. But he says he could get a good deal on a rebuilt transmission. But keep it out of limp mode, from going into limp mode, I should say. At least you have the first three gears to drive it home instead of just second gear. There were faults in here before I cleared it for an uh, inch and RPM overspeed, which is understandable. Because when it commands for overdrive, fourth gear, there is no gear. <laughs> Free wheels. This motor seems like it's pretty good. For 4.6, it seems, yeah, it's running good. I mean, these are, well, how many miles are on it? 167,000. 167,000, yeah, that's, these 4.6s are known to go a lot longer than that, so. <laughs> As we're driving around, we keep finding out there's more and more stuff left in here and it's rolling around. There's a piece of <laughs> freaking steel pipe. Unistrut, hey, you can use that. Lockout tag out box. I guess they're letting you have that, huh? Fire extinguisher. There's a fire extinguisher. Well, that's awesome. Cool. Well, you got a really good deal on this van. Pretty much almost free, so <laughs> you're actually gonna say 300 bucks for a running van with a bad with a bad transmission. So no, it's cool. After driving it, we're gonna run a code scan. So four scans. Let's make sure the ignition key is on. It's a so wait foundry. Yeah. That'll be okay. I think it might be already. Let's see, DTC. Yeah, I see that EGR code come up again. P041, that could be a little bit of an issue during emissions, but uh, probably just needs cleaning or something, or plugged, restricted, or stuck EGR valve or vent. Maybe caused by DPFE sensor, you got so it's kind of funny, it gives you some things that it could be. Onboard darkness, it's readiness test not complete. Oh, the readiness, that's just, that's your, yeah. that's just telling you that it's been reset, which we reset it, of course. And you get this code from just completing the drive cycles. Yep, so it's just saying that. EGR, yeah, more of that stuff. EV2. Shouldn't key in circuit fault. They had that earlier. I don't know what that is. Huh. So I don't know if there's more stuff we can see about the transmission, but we already know enough that there's it's pretty toast. <laughs> Just yeah. listening to it, I guarantee you there's uh, some busted pieces inside that thing. So but that was pretty cool. So.